How's it going, Stog? Look like, I mean, you guys always had that chemistry, you and Spencer. Look like it's really starting to, to uh, come around now with a few catches the last game. Is that something that you guys have maybe come to Sat or Sat has come to y'all and said, we're going to start featuring you guys a lot more? Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, it comes down to, you know, making plays, make, winning one on ones. And I did that and set it up on one some, and then it set it up for uh, more throws down the road. So hopefully we, we build on that in the, in the weeks to come. But it was for sure good to start getting rolling. For a lot of teams, it seems like getting ranked is a bit of a hope. But when y'all have talked about it, it's almost been an expectation. Just what did it mean to kind of be able to check that off the list this week? Uh, I didn't really care. Uh, <laughs> I didn't really care. I mean, we still got Missouri coming up next. Either we're ranked or not, we still, we still got them. But it didn't. I didn't really care. Hey, Austin, hope you're doing well. You had your most efficient game of the year on third downs as a team. You were 8 for 16. How do you do you chalk that up to anything, and how do you keep that going against a Missouri team that's top 10 in the country and stopping third downs right now? Uh, we got to get better um, on third down. 8 16 is good, but we still got to get better and um, just continue to uh, know what we're doing, know our assignments, and uh, continue to make one on one. It comes down to one on one catches, so we got to win our one on ones. And, and uh, then we'll start getting getting better at third down. And, but they're good on third down, but just like any other team. CBS was saying the same thing. He took some of the blame, I think, for maybe some of the runs that he thought he could have done better on. But as far as run blocking, whether it's third down or any other down, how how has that come along for you guys? And, and it seems like you all had, have had some success there, obvious, obviously, the last couple of weeks. Uh, yeah, uh, I've gotten as I got more reps. I've gotten a lot better at run blocking, I feel like. Um, so I'm just continuing to use uh, technique and stick to it. And, um, you know, it's gotten a lot better, and we're really good at running the ball out of 12 personnel. But so we got to continue to do that and continue to run the ball well out of other packages. Austin, obviously, matchup has kind of necessitated you guys going to the run a little bit more the last few weeks. But with the passing game, and whether it's you or Spencer or Juice or whoever, I guess, what do you guys kind of see as the, the next step for this group to, to – push the ball for downfield a little more, get get a little more vertical. I guess what are you guys kind of seeing that, that can maybe help this pass game get get a little more involved maybe? Yeah, I like that hat, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, but, yeah, we got to, you know, it comes down to one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, you know, we had a couple drops, I think three drops, and um, we got to catch catch the ball one-on-one. -on -one. And uh, so once we start doing that, it'll start going because, you know, we catch one of those and we're really rolling. So um, we just got to keep doing that. But it's it starts with everybody. And, Starts with me, and um, we just got to continue to win one on ones. Awesome. What have you seen so far out of Missouri's defense that makes them as effective as they've been this season? Uh, they play really hard. Uh, they got a good edge, and number 18 is really good. Um, so we got to, you know, be on, on our stuff with technique wise, and uh, we got to play hard. And, you know, if we do, we got to just do what we do and f do our identity, and uh, it'll work out. Stog, what is this offensive identity? You said sticking to it. What, how would you kind of describe what this offensive identity is? Um, I mean, whatever Sat calls. I mean, we got we got all the talent in the world. Uh, we just got to make plays. Um, that's what it comes down to. And uh, I've said it I've said it a lot, but it's win our one on one. <laughs> and I guess you've been part of teams that have gone on some winning streaks and had some success in the middle of the year as an older guy. How do you kind of keep the freshmen, keep these younger guys who might not have experienced something like this focused and and kind of keyed into to Saturday? Um, you know, every week's a new week. Um, every play, and every play is a play of its own, so you got to treat it as that. And you got to have the same intensity and not get uh, complacent, even though we have won a few games. But we have to just keep going because, you know, you can get – it's college football. Anybody at any time can get beat. Um, so we're playing, we're playing a really good Missouri team. I don't think we're overlooking them at all. They're really, really good. They beat South Carolina last year. But um, – so we got to continue – we just got to – you know, just do what we did last week, do what we did the weeks before, and continue to take that serious approach to it. And uh, we took a good step today out at practice. Austin, I'm guessing you've seen some of the pictures of the Tennessee celebration after Alabama and LSU last week, the fans coming on the field. Have you ever experienced that on one side or another? And what are the – what's the thinking when you see people running onto the field when you're trying to get off it? Um, they rushed the field last year at Oklahoma twice 
um, again, it was OU Texas, they rushed the field, and that's when we won, so that was like, that was fun, cool, like I knew everybody, so <laughs> whatever, found my family, so. But then when we lost to Baylor, they rushed the field as well, and I was just getting off the field. I mean, it, it no one's going to hit me. Yeah, I was going to say, is it a scary situation at all, or you just figure, all right, I'm getting to the locker room, and that's all there is to it? I mean, we're it's Baylor, but, you know, <laughs> so, uh, so, but then, I mean, Tennessee's a little bit different, you know, I don't know, but I guess, but Baylor people are usually pretty nice, you know, so <laughs> I wouldn't expect any of them to hit me. All right, thank you all.